right, fishy folks, how you doing? I got a package from San Francisco Bay Brand uh, earlier this week, and in it came a lot of brine shrimp hatching stuff. Goodness, we'll call it brine shrimp hatching goodness. And uh, this is a shrimpery educational brine shrimp kit. Ooh. And I saw this at the NEC, the Northeast Council Convention, and it was pretty cool. I, I didn't really like, you know, look at it, but it looked pretty cool. Anywho, it says just add water. See back panel for instructions. So let's do that live and uncensored because that's how I roll. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna open the box. Luckily, there's no knife or anything needed. In the box comes a lid. Actually, there's a box in the box and Sally's Hatch Mix Brine Shrimp Eggs and Salt and this fancy little cup. So, let's read the instructions together, shall we? Empty one pack of Hatch Mix into the shrimpery. No easy open pouch like Japanese little treats. If you ever have Japanese treats, there's always like a little cutout and is it open real easy love it all right we're gonna use my scissors see they come in handy they're not cutting how embarrassing we're gonna pour the salt and brine shrimp in like it says to and dispose of the garbage step two using cold tap water fill shrimpery to marker level and collector bottle to brim Stir contents of shrimpery until salt is no longer visible at the bottom. I happen to have a little water here. Where is the, oh, there's a little marker level. You probably can't, you, it's, it's here. You can't see it. We're gonna fill it to that brown. I don't know if I have enough water. Yeah, I do. Fill to brim. Stirring stick. I really can't see the bottom. All the lights aren't on in the fish room. We're just gonna stir until we don't feel any more salt. All right, I think that's good. Then we're gonna fill this, what do they call this? Collector bottle to the brim. Stand by, filling to the brim. Okay. Step three. Cover collector bottle and shrimpery. Water level should be higher than collector ledge in shrimpery cover. Add water if necessary. So see the little, yeah. So the water should be higher than this little ledge. Let's check it out. It is, but I think it should be a little higher. So we're just gonna go Pour another couple of, uh, maybe an ounce of water or so. Step four. Place the collector bottle lid side down into the shrimpery cover. Note, tap top of collector bottle to release air bubbles that may be blocking hole in collector lid. So you turn it upside down like this. And then you tap on it. Okay, I got it. Pretty simple. Number five, step five. Within 18 to 40 hours, depending upon temperature, brine shrimp naturally attracted to light will be seen swimming into the collector bottle. Wow. Step six. Feed your baby fish from the fresh water in the collector bottle. You may collect additional brine shrimp for as long as 24 hours. To collect more brine shrimp as often as every two hours, simply refill collector bottle with fresh tap water. There's a little asterisk, I'm gonna read that. Only the brine shrimp swim up through the hole and are washed free of salt. The salt water being heavier than fresh water in collection bottle stays behind. Pretty spectacular. So it's like 5.30 on Thursday. 
So help me do math. It's a little chilly in the fish room. It's about 72-ish degrees. So 18 hours would be tomorrow afternoon sometime. I'm just gonna go with that. So maybe when I get home from work tomorrow, it's good Friday, I'll probably leave early. When I get home from work, I'll check it out and see where we are. But my guess is it's gonna be probably Saturday morning because it's not that, uh, not that warm in here. However, I could maybe get a light and use that, but eh, we're just gonna let it go at room temperature. So why don't you all come back when I'm done and I'll show you what we got, all right? Cool, see ya. Okay, fishy folks, the 24 hour update and no hatched brine shrimp yet. But it's about 70 degrees in here, so I bet if I put a light old school incandescent light or some sort of heat source near here they go quicker I'll check in later all right fishy so folks Saturday morning roughly 36 hours from the time I started and I don't know if you can see but there is a bunch of swimming brine shrimp see how tiny they are that is the brine shrimp and I'm gonna feed them. I'm gonna feed them to probably my uh, black panda fry because I have a ton of fry and only two females left and I need them to grow so I can have more babies. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So the San Francisco Bay brand shrimpery educational brine shrimp kit uh, is pretty cool. <coughs> um, it worked just as designed. I'm gonna actually get all the brine shrimp out and then uh, fill it up and do it again. I do have a brine shrimp hatchery from them, uh, which essentially is this base, but I need a two liter bottle of soda and uh, I haven't, I don't have any two liter bottles of soda in the house. So I'm gonna buy one and uh, have someone drink the soda and boom, I have airlines and it has the hatch kit stuff. So baby brine shrimp is tender and delicious for your fry so that's what we're gonna do now hope you liked it uh there will be a link to this in the description and a link to other brine shrimp hatchery stuff where you can go over to amazon and purchase whatever you like so check it out check out the website www.michaelsfishroom.com if you like the video please do me a favor and smash the like button i mean just annihilate obliterate it and, uh, you know, if you like my style and my content, why don't you go ahead and just gently caress the subscription, the uh, subscription bell, yeah, so you can subscribe. Alright guys, have a great day.